Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another DIY video for you guys. This time what we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing a steel oil pan. Now the main, one of the main issues with the MK7 platform is that Volkswagen makes these with a plastic composite material for the oil pan. And unfortunately, I mean, they, you know, they're doing it to, it dissipates heat better and also uh, it will be lighter. However, if anything hits it, it will crack and then it will potentially ruin your you know ruin your day essentially so you can upgrade to a steel one you can also do an aluminum one from ECS uh, but you can also do a steel one now shout out to house of doves because they're the ones who provided me with a steel oil pan for this MK7 for my car and uh, we're gonna be installing it today so you know what let's just get right into it so right here is everything besides the tools that you will need to get everything done uh, you can get well, I, you can go with any oil that's recommended for the Volkswagen, but I wanted to try this liquid molly. Uh, I bought mine from Amazon, so it actually came out to about $40 to $50 for the 1 liter and the 5 liter together. And then also here is the materials needed for the oil pan. Here, you know, I went to shop that to get the, uh, the tool to take off the oil filter housing, the Deutsch Auto Parts. Uh, magnetic drain plug the seals that are needed for the oil sensor that's going to go here and also for the oil filter housing here the bolts needed to put in the uh, oil pan and hold it in secure the now the plastic oil pan now the plastic oil pan actually has an actual gasket that goes around this however the steel doesn't and you actually have to use this so we're going to be using this around the Thing here before torquing all the bolts down lifting the oil pan up and torquing everything down and of course you have the oil filter so this will be the replacement filter for their housing let's open this hood beautiful all right let's get started Since the belly pan is off, this is what the car looks like underneath without the belly pan on. So as you can see, here is the oil pan and you see all of the uh, nuts bolted on. So you see all, you can access all the bolts basically to here. Now you can access the oil pan and everything. You got these guys here. This is the oil sensor uh, and the drain plug should be in the back, which it should be right. Uh, Right here. Oh, Jesus. There. People hate this. People hate this because it's really cheap. But of course, we're trading. When we replace the oil pan, we're, we're not going to use this drain plug anymore. So let's get to it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is drain the oil. So we have to drain the oil out first, and then after we drain the oil, we'll be able to. We have to wait for the, all the oil to come out, and then we can actually start unbolting everything and bringing this oil pan down so let's do it so glad I did this with another camera all right so you see the oil drain you can use a flathead screwdriver and turn it counterclockwise and then after you turn it counterclockwise the oil will spill into the pan you have to wait until this finishes draining so let's do that now that drain all the way thorough all right so sorry I couldn't show you me unbolting the oil pan out it started to rain so I had to hurry it up but uh here's the oil pan here and as you can hear it's sort of like a hollow plastic I mean it'll do okay but as far as like with most stuff on the road but Again, I'm still not comfortable with it, so we're definitely gonna swap it out. But the next thing that we have to do, we have to swap out this guy. This is the um, oil sensor. We have to swap this over to the new one, so we're gonna do that now. 
All right, so as you can see, this is the metal oil pan, the steel oil pan right here. We got the oil sensor from the old one transferred onto this one using the supplied locking nuts that come with the kit. And now all we have to do now is put the sealant around the oil pan and pop it back in. So let's do that now, all right? Everything's torqued down to spec. Uh, shop that recommends eight newton meters with a quarter with a 45 degree turn. These on the oil level sensor nine newton meters, and this this guy 25 newton meters. So that's what the torque specs are on everything. So yeah. And then now we have to actually put the oil in right, the car. So after you finish everything on the bottom, all you have to do is loosen this with a 32 millimeter tool. Thanks for Shop Dap on Deutsche Auto Parts for this. Loosen this up. I already put the new filter in. So you just slide it, take, pull the new old filter out, put the new one in. Change the O-ring that's on the filter itself at the bottom of the filter. And all you do is screw it back on. And just tighten it just not too much because it's plastic and that's it just a snug and that's all it is but after it's all said and done here it is oil pan is in everything is connected everything's torqued down to spec 